The sun is the center of a great system of planets and moons, of asteroids, comets, and meteors called the solar system. But beyond the solar system lie the stars. Many of these stars seem grouped in certain patterns. A constellation chart will help us study some nearby groups of stars. Looking north, we can find some familiar constellations. The Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, Draco, Cassiopeia, and Cepheus. The name of the Big Dipper comes from the fact that its seven main stars seem to outline a long-handled dipper in the sky. The brightest of all these constellations is Orion, the giant hunter. Orion can be seen in the southern night sky from about November to April. These three bright stars in a straight line make Orion easy to find. Here are the three bright stars of Orion as we see them in the sky. The three stars form a belt and a sword hangs down from it. The other stars suggest a body, arms, legs, a club, and a shield. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. In one year, light can go nearly six trillion miles. This distance is called one light year. The light year is a more convenient unit than the mile for measuring astronomical distances. Alpha Centauri is four and three-tenths light years away. In the upper left is another double star system. These photographs were taken over a 12-year period. Many multiple systems of stars have been found. Another interesting fact about stars is that some of them explode. Dim stars may suddenly grow 100,000 times as bright in a tremendous explosion. Here in the sword of Orion is a tremendous amount of glowing gas in a state of violent motion. It has been named the Great Nebula of Orion. The Great Nebula is about 25 light years in diameter. Its glow is probably caused by the energy of nearby stars. Scientists believe the Milky Way is a great whirlpool of more than a billion stars with star clusters all around it. This whirlpool is called a galaxy. The Milky Way is believed to be about 100,000 light years across and 10,000 light years thick. All this is our galaxy. And our sun with its solar system is just a tiny part of it and is thought to be about here. But our galaxy is only one of countless other galaxies that are scattered throughout the space we call the universe. The universe contains countless numbers of these great systems of stars. As far as we can see with our most powerful telescopes, there are galaxies extending billions of light years into space. Is there an end to the universe? No one knows. We can only wonder at all that scientists have already learned and at all there is yet to learn about the great systems of stars in space the vast distances between the stars and between the galaxies, about everything that lies in the universe beyond the solar system. <laughs>